Hello, I hope you're well. Welcome to another reading. Uh, let's see what we've got going for next week. Uh, we had a heavy week with the solar eclipse. I think we're still in the effects of that. Lots of collective changes going on. So uh, let's, uh, I'm getting, seeing anger, a lot of anger coming forward. Not of anger, I'm seeing the um, wrath card from this deck, but I haven't even drawn it, but that's what I mean, Sean. So I don't know if somebody is feeling very angry about what's going on in the collective in the wor world. Something to do with money. Recession. Coming forward. Taking a toll on some of Somebody sitting over there. What? I don't know who we've got. Michael. Always on Michael. Is it Archangel Michael? <laughs> Please bear in mind that my uh, readings off the collective, they're timeless and, you know, for entertainment purposes only. Uh, I physically see spirits, so you may see a lot of things going on here. You'll hear taps, my painting over there, taps, you may see faces, um, anything. Um, yeah, I'm not a doctor, a lawyer, financial advisor, whatever mental health advisor, you know, um, therapist, please get help if you need it before taking any from here. Okay, let's see what's going on. Uh, yeah, there's a battle going on. Somebody's having an argument, fighting for their job. There's something, illusion. somebody feels like they are in a battle, but it's an illusion. There's no need to be fighting what you're fighting for. Family matter here. Somebody's copying someone. I, w I'm, I don't know if a parent did this in the past. And it's almost like you're mimicking um, what they did. And there's a believing there's a battle to be fought within a family, but there isn't. It's an illusion. Everybody is on your side. They just want you to see the bigger picture. Okay. Somebody's fighting with themselves. A lot of conflict going on. Oh. Uh, somebody's uh, copying work. Somebody's hiding, hiding money. Salting money away. Hiding almost like under the um, mattress as they used to do. They're giving the impression they have more money than they actually do. Or is that someone else? It's the same person. Oh, right. Correct me. Little money. Somebody's pretending to have... There are two here. Correct? Is that... That's correct. Um, so there are two people. One's pretending to have more money than, the, than they actually have. And one's pretending... We think Scrooge is hiding their stuff away and they're almost hiding it under the mattress. This is something somebody used to do in the past, hiding money um, to get more. Somebody's found that out, it's been exposed and there's a battle. Somebody's fighting in a family and they don't need to, they are on your side. You just don't, trust issues. Okay. Influence. Influence from afar. Discarded influence. And deranged influence. Somebody not thinking straight, influencing something else, somebody else in a derogatory manner. Sorry, I'm channeling direct, so um We'll get, this is sort of the spirit of the reading. We'll see what else in that one. There's an anomaly some, somewhere, something sticking out like a sore thumb in a relationship. And your relationship to money, um, feeling like you never have enough. So putting it away, caging, hiding it from people who believe your money is going to be stolen. Somebody believes that some money has been stolen from an account um, by a family member. This is incorrect. You've got it wrong. That's direct from spirit. Um, somebody does not believe their money is protected, but it is. 
this is this is something it's just mimicking something that happened in the past or has happened to somebody before that you know somebody's been stealing from a till it's all about lack of money um keep going You need a new perspective about money, your health, where you're going, or what you're doing. Get out more, do more things. If you have problems with health, I'm not a doctor. Go and see your doctor first, yeah? Um, changing your perspective about money to bring in more. You feel you have to fight for money from somebody else when you could go out and get it yourself. This will give you emancipation. This will give you freedom. This will give you what you want. Something is sticking out like a sore thumb on an account. Business accounts like spreadsheets, I'm saying. Okay, let's see what else we can get. I don't know what it is, but I'm seeing a face here. Somebody wants you to see yourself as something you aren't. Ugly. Somebody could be staring back at you through the mirror. This could be spirit. This could be... They're manipulating how you see yourself. It, providing you with a distorted image. This could be somebody around you who is seeing little niggling comments uh, derogatory. You've tried ignoring them, but they're getting under your skin. They want you to put the, put it in the trash bin and ignore them. This person has used uh, mirror magic. Yeah, careful. This could be spell work. This could be derogatory comments. You are seeing something. I'm not good enough. I'm not, um, sorry, they're channeling Darren. I'm not good enough. I'm not whatever and it's almost like this person it's a masquerading as a female energy now what does that mean oh the um they're trying to come across as nurturing as this that and the other but they're not they're twisting their words it's that kind of thing i've had before it's like gaslighting you go away and you think that this person's lovely everybody else says they're lovely and you go away and then you think you go back over the conversation you had. This could be hours later, a day later, whatever. Why did they say that? What do you mean by that? Um, and that's what's happening here. Instead of it's not a masquerading as a nurturing energy. It's not. Who's doing this more? He's having a right old battle of words here. Uh-huh. Now, Evil Queen, this could be uh, he, she, they. Okay. Um, somebody wants you to feel, it's almost like tempting you with words, tempting you to be so lost in matters about your appearance that they can get something from you. Energy, maybe. Money. It's mirror. There are mirrors here everywhere. A distorted view of yourself in the mirror. A distorted view of something. A perspective that needs to be changed. Yeah, he's being led into temptation. Yeah, look at these goodies. Oh, I just heard somebody might be eating too many sweets. Or sugar. I've got that song, sugar. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, honey, honey, you are my candy girl. I don't know if that's relevant to somebody. Being drawn into a web of deceit. Going on a journey to the Emerald City. Being drawn to the Emerald City. Somebody's moving to the city or a city. Or they dream about a city. This could be somebody having dreams about the astral realms or traveling the astral realms. Um, dream about a city, a drawing of a city, writing about a city. You've been there in a past life. That's really weird. I've, I've written about a city in one of my books that they keep going on about. 
an underground city, but this is dreaming about um, past lives. Something from a past life is coming to the fore. It's repeating itself almost word for word, action for action. You need to take a different course this time. You're being shown through dreams and being guided to take a different course. It's about money. It's about battling with family. It's about self-worth. Believing in yourself. Okay. All right. I'm going to do so many videos and readings and things today. <laughs> One out. Loneliness. Somebody being in a bit of a depression through about loneliness because they, I'd say, you feel like you're an anomaly and you don't. Look at this person here. Left out of a group. Rejected from a group. Um, look at this battle going on here with these crows again. Look at it. I wonder if you've been let, feel like you were left out of family. You could have um, been rejected, thrown out of a family, something like that. Thrown out of a church group, a church. Left out. Not fitting in, feeling like this, trying to hide who you are under cover. Don't do that. Uh, can't speaking, this could be about um, transitioning, um, transitioning gender, something like that. It's seeing who you truly are. Have confidence and move forward. You're wearing a mask. Somebody's trying to keep you stuck where you are. You uh, get help with this. OK, if you're having problems that way, get help. Talk to a family member who you can trust or going to talk to a doctor or somebody else. But it's about being who you are. Your quirks are, um, are real. Somebody not believing you about something because they're showing me a character from uh, a movie from Taiwan. I absolutely love. I'm learning Chinese, Mandarin Chinese, and I'm, I, I love it. And... I'm obsessed with um, the movie Secrets in the Hot Spring. And they're showing me the uh, young guy. They call him Little Princess. <laughs> he um, shows himself as one thing, but he's actually somebody very different. He's lovely. Uh, he's one of my favourite characters, isn't it? Um, and it's almost like you're... Somebody's attacking you for the way you look. Um could be uh who you are who you really are you feel like you have to keep it hidden uh, this it doesn't even have to be about gender this could be about who you are feeling empowered being an anomaly not fitting in the family not being the family rules hey my family were like mafia that's what <laughs> weren't my people. yeah it was always this is the way you do it or you're out yeah and I think somebody may be feeling this alone. You've got, to, um, there are people around you, I'm being told, who can support you. Spirit, spiritual people, friends, people like that. If you're not gelling with them, then you may need to walk away. But get help, talk to somebody about this. Or you're frightened to say anything because you believe this is going to happen. Somebody is definitely a big fallen out with family. It's five, it's bringing on change. It's bringing on an awakening for you. Instead of trying to fit in, be who you are. If they can't accept who you are, then it's no good. You have to be true to you. Yeah, there are others. Play. Okay. Uh, somebody could be seeing you as one thing, but you're not. Making judgments about you. Causing battles. Causing anger. Um... I don't know. <sighs> to your to your, to thine own self be true is the same. But um they need to change their perspective. They see you as a threat. There's some sort of fear with this. It's all an illusion. You just keep being you. And if they don't like it, then you know you don't need to be there. Stop trying to fit in with these people because they keep pushing you out. They're not your tribe. Walk away. I'm hearing that song just walk away, Renee. <laughs> okay, um, which one? These one or these ones? Okay. I can't.
can't remember because I've been doing so many videos. If I've said this before, please forgive me. Um, if you want a personal reading, you need to do it quickly because I'm going to be shutting down for a while. I am doing a whole load of writing for my... Um, oh for my books my spirit oh spirit i'm doing all sorts of things if you want to support my fiction writing as arabella kingsley uh check the link out to ink it on the description there's some free books on there right naughty romance i write all sorts of stuff multi-genre so please check that out um i'm doing a lot for that got my research proposal i've got to write oh my god it's unbelievable what i'm doing so uh oh let's check that out now Water off a duck's back. Ignore the comments that I made about you. Just let them roll off your back. I don't know. They just made me lift that up. Okay. Trad yeah. Somebody's going against family tradition here. There's something you're doing. Something about a house here. Going against inheritance. Family tradition. Not getting inheritance. Being left out of a will. You don't need them. Um... Somebody's been wily as a fox, cunning as a fox, using it to their advantage that you've been pushed out. Um, yeah, something to do with a home. I've got a home here. This is going to bring on growth for you, though. You have to be stand up and be counted, be yourself. This is a battle. This could be a battle over inheritance or upcoming battle over inheritance. Um, your rights. There's some anonymity. Anonym somebody's come in it from outside of the family and is being cunning as a fox to get what they want. Whispers in the ear. Um, adopted brother-in-law, I'm hearing. Adopt, something like that, who's spoken to people and got them to change their perspective, made you look uh, normally. You've been outside the family for a while. Why should you come back in and get there? This should come to me. I don't know. Changing of will. Battle on your hands. Overwhelming feelings. Feeling lonely. Left out. Pushed out. Um, we don't want you here. It's all orchestrated by this person. It's all plotting and revenge. Whispers in the ear. There, look. Influence. Okay. Uh, so it's this person you need to take on. Uh, if you've got to take on anyone in court or whatever, this is the person who has been causing all the trouble. This is the spider at the centre of the web. Okay, and has been drawing people in like flies. Getting the, They've been stuck. Stuck in one perspective because of tradition. This is also a tradition from uh, where we passed. And it needs, it needs to be a different perspective perspective changes being brought forward into this family um to change the way they view things so this is spiritual this is like um karma for the family you need to change uh the way they see things somebody could have been pushed out here because they transitioned that's not fair it's not right you need to fight or walk away and I think they're worth it. Yeah, look, we've got injustice. The scales need to be balanced. The karma needs to be balanced. It's being brought in. It's all to do with money being... There's money that's been secreted away that somebody else knows about. And it's determined there are accounts. Somebody's died. Is that correct? Somebody's died and there are accounts that this person knows about. And they've, they've taken the lot, apparently. Okay. A lot of emotion. It's going to take some skillful words, skillful influence to get what you want. What's that mean? Somebody's got dominance over another. There's a dominant thought idea that runs through this family that is be needs to change. I saw girls who like boys who like boys who like girls. The perspective that it's only to be one way is incorrect and that has to change. Hidden secrets will be revealed. The darkness of 
This family will be revealed and a battle will commence as karma is played out. I don't know what that's all about. Illusions, falsehoods will be brought to the fore and justice will be met. That's what I heard. Page of Stones, a message is coming through, a communication. Page of Wands, something creative coming through for you. Something that can bring a lot of money, abundance. Yeah, and something ending, a message about something ending. Uh, but it's a good ending. Because it allows you to go off on a new track. The battle has been fought and has been won. It's almost like I say that little door, unlocking secrets into that door, going through somewhere into other realms. This could be writing. Oh, this could be art of some kind. Delving into other realms, past lives when you create. This could be creating code. Yeah, code's creative. Um, eight of bows, half. Lots of messages about something you've created. Um, but you're feeling insecure about it. I'm not worth it. Look. It's not going to happen for me, but there are a lot of messages coming forward for you. Your work will be seen. You will be heard. There's a message, a communication, uh, something. Uh, the pain of the past is ending. You are being seen. You are being heard. The battle was worth it to get to this point. You are now being seen. And opportunities for money, uh, for your work will um come through no more insecurity you've got to change your perspective about yourself you you're having an inward battle with yourself it's illusions you are worth it it could be something from a family that has made you feel like this somebody's definitely manipulated this could be a narcissist um and it's caused this i don't know which way to go i don't know what i should do because i don't feel i'm worthy or good enough this person's had a lot of influence over you there could be a mother figure um uh, that type of Guardian, I'm getting. Everything has a risk with it. With risk putting your creativity out out there, but you will be seen. Somebody's taking a risk with money and investment, but it's paying off. It's going to pay off. But careful. There's a dominant market. Something dominant in the market uh, because of somebody wielding influence, which which is going to crash and fall careful is the risk worth it okay oh goodness philip i mean i felt i get some names up ah uh, right yeah a lot of fear step forward and do what you know you're good at a couple more to finish Yeah, get organised, organise your work, protect your work, organise your work, get um, a routine going, a plan of action, write down what you're going to do, um, you know, for that day and stick to it, take them off as you go, don't overwhelm yourself, organise, organise, somebody has to have their papers organised, it's almost like an audit, an inspection, showcasing your work in a portfolio, something like that. Getting it online, putting it on a blog, something like something like that. But organising your work, knowing where it is. My accountant once told me that I had to know where every book was and trying to get them all in one place. All of my writing. All right. So there's a definite battle coming up. As somebody is challenging you. I believe it's a family member. It's over inheritance, it's over money, uh, something they believe you have taken uh, or you're hiding money. It's illusion. There is not a battle to be fought here, but they're causing a war for it. It's an excuse to get what they want. It's an excuse to cause a distraction for something they've done. Right, I'm being told to stop it there. Um, I hope that's helped you. Uh, justice will will prevail. That's all I need to say on that one. Okay, uh, leave it there. I hope that's been of help. If you want to be a member of this channel, you get a weekly reading on a Sunday uh, just for the members. So if you want to check that out, please do. I'll be doing that on Sunday. And um, yeah, please subscribe, like and share. 
and uh, let's get these messages out to everyone who needs to hear them. Okay, take care of yourselves and I shall see you next time. Bye.